Title, A Critique of Against the Grain, How Agriculture Has Hijacked Civilization, by Richard Manning. Introduction. In Against the Grain, How Agriculture Has Hijacked Civilization, Richard Manning challenges the conventional narrative that hails agriculture as the cornerstone of human progress. Manning contends that agriculture has not been a boon but rather a bane to human civilization. Through meticulous research and thought-provoking arguments, Manning delves into the repercussions of agriculture on society, the environment, and human health. This literary analysis will explore Manning's key ideas and arguments, evaluating the strength of his thesis and the evidence he presents to support it. The Hijacking of Civilization Manning asserts that agriculture's adoption marked a pivotal point in human history, leading to the hijacking of civilization. He argues that it not only changed the way humans procured food but also transformed societal structures, causing a shift from nomadic lifestyles to sedentary settlements. Manning suggests that the transition to agriculture gave rise to social hierarchies, class divisions, and the concentration of power in the hands of a few, as exemplified by the emergence of agricultural elites. One of the central themes of Manning's work is the detrimental impact of agriculture on human health. He posits that the shift from a diverse, hunter-gatherer diet to a heavily grain-based diet led to malnutrition and a decline in overall health. Manning presents compelling evidence of the adverse health effects of agriculture, including the prevalence of dental problems and evidence of malnutrition in ancient skeletal remains. Environmental Consequences Manning's argument extends to the environmental realm, where he highlights the ecological consequences of agriculture. He contends that agriculture has led to deforestation, soil degradation, and the depletion of biodiversity. He emphasizes that the cultivation of monoculture crops and the use of pesticides have resulted in the loss of valuable ecosystems and have contributed to the current environmental crisis. Manning convincingly argues that the agricultural system has disrupted the delicate balance of nature, leading to unintended consequences. Furthermore, Manning addresses the issue of sustainability in agriculture. He argues that the modern industrial agricultural model, driven by profit and efficiency, is unsustainable in the long run. The excessive use of water resources, the over-reliance on fossil fuels, and the environmental costs associated with large-scale agriculture are unsustainable practices that he condemns. Manning advocates for a shift towards more sustainable and regenerative agricultural practices that prioritize ecological health over short-term gains. Reevaluation of Progress Manning's critique forces readers to reevaluate the notion of progress in the context of agriculture. He challenges the prevailing belief that agriculture is the pinnacle of human achievement by highlighting the numerous downsides of this system. His argument is a poignant reminder that progress should not be measured solely by technological advancements and economic growth but should also consider the well-being of individuals and the health of the planet. Critique of Manning's Argument While Manning's argument is compelling and thought-provoking, it is not without its limitations. One critique is that he tends to idealize the hunter-gatherer lifestyle, downplaying the challenges and risks associated with it. Additionally, Manning's focus on the negative aspects of agriculture may overshadow its positive contributions to human society, such as the development of culture, art, and complex civilizations. Conclusion in Against the Grain, How Agriculture Has Hijacked Civilization, Richard Manning presents a thought-provoking critique of agriculture's impact on human civilization, health, and the environment. His argument challenges the conventional narrative of agriculture as a symbol of progress and instead sheds light on its detrimental consequences. While Manning's thesis is compelling, 
it is essential to consider the broader context of human history and the complex interplay of factors that have shaped our world. Nonetheless, Manning's work serves as a valuable contribution to the ongoing discourse on agriculture and its role in shaping human society and the planet. It encourages readers to question established beliefs and re-evaluate the path to a more sustainable and equitable future.